In winter, motorhome enthusiasts begin driving south, like migrating birds heading for familiar territory. Expensive motorhomes need quality watering holes, and America is answering the call. RV resting places are springing up everywhere. John Moutier is driving a new RV from Marathon Coach. Price, $1.3 million. Up to the minute electronics means he can monitor the whole bus from the driver's seat. Even his rear view is through a video camera. Destination, Outdoor Resorts, Indio, California. 70,000 to a quarter of a million dollars will buy you membership to one of the most exclusive parking lots in the country. Hi, John. Hi, Tim, how you doing? Great. John. You got a new coach, eh? Yeah, just picked it up in Phoenix. Oh, oh wow. Just getting set up here. Pretty yeah. nice. Can we take a look inside? Oh, yeah. yeah this Tom is and awesome. Elaine Clark, RV park regulars. A new RV on the lot is irresistible. Welcome aboard, eh? Welcome aboard. First visitors. John's new coach is a 40-footer. It features two slide-outs, the must-have room extensions, around $75,000 each. This RV has been designed with the very best kitchen, including $8,000 worth of granite flooring and $6,000 worth of Corian bench tops, and all with top-grade appliances. John, we have a 99. 45 footer right and we don't have slides in it and uh, we're anticipating upgrading room extensions are the latest coach feature every owner wants them how much does something like this cost the well, slide they, they put it in the package i understand that the prevo slides are about a seventy-five thousand dollar option uh, I think it's 75000 for the front one and maybe a little bit less for the rear because it's mm. smaller on the thing. Boy, that uh, makes it so much roomier. Homey uh, and, yeah. and wide. It's wonderful. Yeah, well, 440 footer is definitely a plus because uh. we don't have the extra five feet in length. And there's no need to leave the sofa. Advanced technology allows remote control of all functions. So you can run everything in the coach. Yep. So nice big The coach owners want quality everything, from fridges to flooring. We love the colors. This is our colors. Oh, really? Yeah. Earth, earth tones. Absolutely gorgeous. And granite floors. Granite floors, right? Yeah, easy update. Is this uh, all Corian? No, this is all the Corian. Oh, that's Corian. Right, this is all Corian. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's. Uh, Easy pair, and you can always repolish it. You don't have to scratch it up or something like that. So it makes it pretty nice. That's, right, that's the latest dishwasher. Right. It's the new. Pulls uh, right out, just like a drawer. Right. Wow, that's Isn't nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Boy, that holds big pots and pans. Well, this is what every gal likes: is lots of storage. For, oh yeah. For the pantry stuff. That's that's really done nicely. They do a beautiful job, don't they? Oh, it's beautiful. John, we appreciate the oh. tour. Love the colors. Yeah, I like the light colors because it makes it room in. The resort is a magnet for high-end coach owners who demand the best. More than 400 lots surround an 18-hole golf course. There are also four tennis courts and four swimming pools. We all have a magnetic entrance card, but we can come in here 24 hours a day. Members a consider their exclusive lounge a home room. extension. It offers a bar, billiards, TV room, recreational and workout spaces. So from the uh, function of the owner's standpoint, this is the Taj Mahal. This is probably a rare RV resort. Certainly not a trailer park. Everything here is first class. With all BMW dealer and former race car driver, Rug Cunningham has owned several RVs. We'd much rather travel in our bus than we would on an airplane. And the reasons are, are really pretty simple. We're spoiled. If we have the time to travel with the bus, we've got all our stuff with us. And that's my massage chair. That takes the tension out of my steering arm. Big development since Magic Fingers beds in this country. Used to have to put a quarter in and all it would do would vibrate. This does the whole number. It's uh, a bus driver's holiday right here. <laughs> the big appeal for owners is the ability to get up and go at any time. Here we are in Palm Desert. There's probably 
Oh, there's thousands, literally thousands of, of second homes here, but none of them can move to Montana in the summer. We don't have a second home, but we have a third, a fourth, and a fifth. Chardonnay. Australian, I believe, right? What could be nicer than being able to sit outside? The social life at the RV resort is a big part of the appeal. Like-minded people enjoying each other's company. Oh, about five o'clock, the golf carts start parading around and people are generally looking for a free drink and uh, they normally find them. There'll be little gatherings throughout and there's tremendous friendships. Roz and John Swanson have settled into resort life. They've swapped power walking for, well, not walking at all. When you're living here and you're sitting outside or like tending the flowers, you know, five or six people stop by and tell you what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it or seeing what you're up to. And uh, if you live in a home, you're quite separate. You don't have the interaction that you have here. Lord, how nice it is to be in this beautiful valley. And there's the Lockwoods. They've been on the road for eight years. They have land, lots of land, and the starry skies above. They're not fenced in. Everybody's very friendly and very outgoing, and that, that's the best part of it. You know, you guys, one nice thing about living down here, having our motor coach next to us, in an RV park. If we lived in a condo, we wouldn't even be outside. We'd be inside, wouldn't know you, wouldn't know our neighbors. It's beautiful. Cheers to our Cheers. <laughs>